Okay, so today I posted um, where we redid the kitchen hutch um, and it is the next day and I am going to clean everything and put it back together because my kitchen's a mess. Last week was our 30th wedding anniversary so um, we didn't do a whole lot of nothing. Um, so I got to work on getting the house cleaned back up. It is a disaster. But we spent the last three days working on this thing so I didn't do much of anything else. So let me show you. Hold on. So this is it finished. I have got to, we got to do some touch-ups on this part that we completely missed. But again, we were tired and it was the last part of the day. We wanted to get it back in the house before it rained. So um, we got a drop cloth we're going to put down and just um, go over that part. I've got to really clean these windows really good um, and I've got to wipe everything down. I wiped it out before I brought it in but it needs to be really clean um, and I've got to find my knob that I had stuck in there so I can open it but you can see my kitchen is just stuff everywhere so we're going to work on getting that clean pay no mind to the cat he sees I am filming and has to be nosy looking at the new hutch who knew they would spot a difference but they do anyway let's get started so this is two days of me cleaning um, the first day I was getting started on wiping everything down was actually Halloween so I was in the middle of folding clothes when it was time for us to take the grandkids out. Well, we didn't take them out. We just went with them because, you know, who wants to miss watching your grandbabies go trick-or-treating? They were so cute and adorable. Um, I wish I had gotten some pictures to put on here, but uh, we were kind of busy enjoying. And I am the worst at taking pictures because I... When I'm in the moment, it doesn't cross my mind until everything's over, so I completely forgot. But anyway, me and Bobby is going to wipe this down and clean it really good. He's getting that top shelf really good because I, I'm short and I can't reach it. And I'm thankful he's helping. Um, and sorry about the camera angle. The camera was kind of crooked. Uh, don't know why, but I eventually fix it, so... Uh, now, I do have a problem, and I'm hoping for some help. Uh, all my windows, we had them taped up, apparently not good enough, and some stain got on there. You really can't see it unless you're up close, but if y'all know how to uh, get that little extra stain off, um, that would be helpful. Just leave it in the comments. If you don't know, then that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, I love how it turns turned out tomorrow we're gonna do some touch-ups um yes there's still gold on the inside of those doors but we had worked so hard on getting everything done uh, i told him not to worry about getting that gold off i wasn't worried about it because when the doors are closed you can't see it so it stayed there um and now we're just going to work on putting everything back in it and getting everything organized and it is so pretty I still got to do that touch up right there which like I said we're going to work on tomorrow I think but anyway I love how it matched so perfect with the kitchen also I've had a couple of y'all I wanted to show you but completely forgot um, I'll put it in the next video but I've had a lot of people comment and saying, well, not a lot, a couple, that I should paint my cabinets. However, our cabinets is, it's a mobile home. Um, and if y'all live in a mobile home, some of you may know that the cabinets are actually very, very cheap quality. They are made of press board and then they're wrapped with, um, I guess like a wallpaper thing so you really can't paint them the only thing you can do is maybe rewrap them um, 
I need to look into that, but you can't paint the kind of cabinets we got. Maybe one day, hopefully, we can afford to replace them, but I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, they work for what we need them to, and they don't look too bad. Some of them look kind of rough, but anyway, it is what it is. But anyway, I'm going to quit talking and y'all can watch me get everything cleaned out and get it organized and put back together. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Only time will tell. Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know all your flaws, at least they say something Still I try to connect with you through your eyes Your eyes What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us, us, us Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell I still want all of you and I know all your colors And I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yo What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line, but no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work So as you can see, my kitchen was a big old mess Most of that is like sandpaper and tools and stuff we use to redo the kitchen hutch cabinet whatever y'all want to call it i don't know it, it doesn't matter the dish holder okay anyway that's all the tools and mess from that and we are packing some of it up and luckily we kept our receipts because like i said this was the first time we had ever redone any kind of furniture and we really didn't know what we were doing it turned out better than what i thought but again, we didn't know what we were doing, so we bought a little extra, um, but we kept the receipt and took back to Walmart what we didn't need, um, and thankfully we had the receipt, yay. But anyway, we are working on getting this kitchen cleaned up and put back in order, and Bobby is in here helping, and I am so thankful. And by the way, I had said in the last one, but it was just a small little mention, Last week was our 30th wedding anniversary, and y'all, I am so proud of this man. I love him with all my heart. Um, I guess we are one of those couples that some people like to call sickeningly sweet, because um, we are. I just love him. I'm so thankful for him, and I'm so blessed to have him. And I tell everybody, the Lord sent him to me. It was just a miracle um to me anyways um but anyway so it, yep it was it's been 30 years we were babies when we got married uh, we met on a blind date my cousin was dating his friend and they introduced us we actually dated for four months and about a week or two um, and then we got married, and I was 17, and he was 19. And everybody, well, not everybody, about 90% of the people told us, y'all won't last, y'all too young. And we were, we were very young. 
but it has been 30 years and this man is still my best friend i love him more today than the day i married him and you know i am just so blessed to have him in my life anyway i would just want y'all to know that um but we are going to finish cleaning up the kitchen and then work on laundry me i'm feeling something that goes beyond us, us, us. can we work it out only time will tell it's gonna take a lot cause we've been through hell i can't be without you i've tried and i failed so can we work it My kitchen is nice and clean and it's so pretty and y'all I am so proud of my kitchen everything just ties in together and it's just so pretty it's my favorite place in the whole house but I like to cook and bake um, now I'm gonna move on to my room and get my room clean and get my bed made and I got a new bed spread but I'm gonna tell you about it when I get to it I'm
this is my new bedspread we got. Um, of course, it is Pioneer Woman. What else would it be? I love Pioneer Woman. Um, and it was on clearance. The bedspread was $14 and the pillow shams were $5. So um, I could not miss the opportunity of buying it. And I'm so glad I did because when we went back a few days later, um, they were all gone. So I'm so glad I got it when I did. And it's just a little bedspread. But y'all, this thing is like the warmest bedspread ever. And it is getting cold the next few nights, so it will come in handy. And yes, I did finally get Bobby a new pillow. He's still using the old yellow one. I still got to get a um, pillowcase to go over it. But it's just got where it's um, not, it's leaving a stain on some of my pillowcases. So I'm going to get him an old pillowcase for his old pillow and let him continue to sleep on it because I am not going to mess with his pillow. I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me and I'm not going to do that to him. But I did replace it with a pretty pillow. So um, that's what I'm going to use on my bed when I make it. Now I'm just going to straighten up in over here a little bit, vacuum, and then I'm going to work on some laundry. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy so now I'm going to start, start working on folding my laundry. And I've had a few people in my comments ask me why Kaylee don't help me fold my laundry. And it was not a rude question and I did not take it offensive in any way whatsoever. Um, people just want to know. Um, and the reason why is I am so persnickety with how I fold my laundry and... I just don't like anybody to help me. I don't even like Bobby to help me. He will put up clothes and help me in that way, but I have to have everything folded a certain way. It is completely on me, and it is my fault. And when I do laundry, I don't mind. They only have a few things, so I wash theirs while I'm washing mine and get it all done at the same time. You know, Kaylee works, and her kids are in school, and if I can help, I'm glad to help them out. Um, that's what family's for. But again, I know the person that asked, I can't even remember who it was. It was not in, in any rude way or anything like that. They were just curious. And, you know, when you put your life out on YouTube, people ask questions. And But that's why she would be more than happy to help me. And she has offered many times. But I just can't do it because I just like my laundry folded a certain way. And if it's not, it just aggravates me. Again, it is completely on me, and it is my fault. Um, I wish I wasn't that way, but it is how it is. And I've always been that way since I was old enough to fold clothes. Uh, when I was a teenager, I did my laundry and folded clothes and put it up because if it wasn't just right, it aggravated me. But anyway, that's why she don't help. It's because I don't let her. Not with laundry, anyway. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
Okay, this is on Wednesday, the second day I was getting everything cleaned. We had already, uh, I had to stop early yesterday because, like I said, we went trick-or-treating. So I am going to work on the living room today. Now you can see in the background uh, the TV stand. Uh, I did not get to clean it. Kaylee actually gave me some curtains, and I need to get some curtain rods, and we're going to work on hanging them up next week. Um, so I didn't clean it off because um, I just didn't get to it. And those curtains were up there, and I'm just going to worry about that when I get a chance to hang them up. And they're so cute, and I'm so thankful she gave them to me, and I cannot wait to get them up. But I am just going to work on getting the living room picked up, and I am going to sweep and mop. Um, I wanted to clean my bathrooms today, but I just ran out of time and energy. So I'm going to do that this weekend and do a big weekend clean, uh, cleaning up the house. So you'll get to see me do all that then. And that's the new kitten, Oreo. Um, and he's like the rest of the cats, or she's like the rest of the cats. Uh follows me all around the house. I just have a bunch of nosy cats, but they're so sweet, and I love each and every one of them. They're just, I know, I'm the cat lady, but we're not getting any more. We're not. Uh, if any more shows up at the house, we will find good homes for them because we, we're out of room and no more cats. And I have to stick to that, or Bobby might kick me out the house. Um, I'm sure he won't, but um, five cats is plenty. Anyway, so I'm just going to get this living room cleaned up. gonna mop the house you see the little kitten oreo just following me she's so sweet anyway i am going to mop the house and then i'm going to be done for the night because i've got everything pretty much cleaned up there's still things i need to do but i'm gonna worry about that this weekend um and just do a big cleaning anyway i hope y'all enjoyed i hope you got a lot of motivation um if you hadn't already I would love for you to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can get notifications when I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.